Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gabac USA. In this video, we're going to talk about clock multipliers. So we are going to start uh, talking about the technology of, of the CPUs. So if this is the first time you see one of my videos, I recommend you to go back and see the playlist from the beginning. That would be ideal. So that way you can understand everything. Otherwise, you can go and jump in in the other video that I talk how a CPU works or how a processor works. So that way you can learn. So in this case, if, if you don't know, when you start uh, setting up a, C a CPU, maybe back in the day, very many, many years ago, you used to use something called deep switch or maybe if it was older than that, maybe with some jumpers, but you have this uh, deep switch. I'm going to start putting a picture here. So that way uh, you can set up the, the clock and the, and the multipliers. So that way you can overclock the computer. So if you wanted to work faster and all those things, and that is how it, it was is done uh, at that time. And the other technology is a CPU ID. So the CPU ID is the same thing, but automatic, automatically. So when you connect, you plug in the CPU on the on the motherboard, it, it recognizes it automatically. So you don't have to do not, uh, anything. So that is is great. So that is how it works. So in this case, we have a core uh, i7, the 4.2 gigahertz, and you will see the multiplier. It will be 42, and this will be the the speed of the bus of the data bus so in this case it will be 100 megahertz i'm going to leave surely a picture here so if you multiply 42 times 100 100 you will have that uh, speed so that is the internal speed but when you start transmitting data data it will be at 100 megahertz so that is the the main thing so we are we are going to talk uh, later on in the, about the the other uh, subject 64 uh, bit processing, uh, virtualization support, uh, and everything else. So, this is uh, very basic. So, if you want to speed up your computer, you can do an overclocking. Surely, I'll be making another video about overclocking, but in this case, what I recommend uh, all the time is try to keep it uh, simple, try to make it work the way the manufacturer. Uh, intended uh, the CPU to work, so that way everything will last uh, long. Otherwise, you, you may produce some crashes on the computer or the CPU will not uh, last very long. So that is uh, my take in this uh, example. Back in the day, the old CPUs, they used to have the same clock. The internal clock, it was the same one than, than the external one. But as the manufacturer started thinking, well, we have to make it faster and faster and faster, what they have done, okay, they start creating the multiplier. So that way, the CPU can run much faster. Remember that if, if you didn't know or if you didn't learn about the, the other video that I was talking about, the, the CPU, the, the world or few technical issues so that is why they didn't they could they couldn't make it uh, run at the same speed that the internal clock so that way that is why they start creating the the multiplier the multiplier is because the speed was so fast that the wires that are on top of the the motherboard start started working like a antenna and the and created and creating radio frequency so that way uh, the the signal didn't reach the other end of the cable so that is one of the reasons why they start creating this uh, multiply so if you want to know more i recommend you to go to the other video how a cpu works and everything else so that way you, you will learn so i hope you have enjoyed this class remember click on subscribe and click on like and see you next time bye oh i forgot something so if you want to know more about CPUs and you want to see the frequency, the, the cache memory and everything else, I'm going to leave you a link. The program that I'm using is called CPU Z. So if you want, use that. I'll leave it in the video description. See ya.